Hello and welcome to another October video. I hope you're enjoying all this extra content. Uh, I, I've wanted to do an October event for such a long time and uh, finally I'm in the position where I can and I, I can give you all these videos. So I'm really enjoying it myself. Uh, this is my review of the Orcs Death Killer War Trike. I've never reviewed this on the channel. I've had this model a couple of years now. Uh, I really enjoyed the new buggies and the trikes and things like that and uh, yeah I'm pleased to bring this to you and uh, do do them justice. So let's get straight into it. This model will set you back £30. It's the same price as all of the other buggies uh, from Games Workshop. If you're looking at a comparison in terms of war bosses well you can still get the very very old uh, war boss uh, right here for the £15 if you if you're looking at others. Um, furthermore Orc Warboss uh, Grux mob is £32.50 and you do get the Warboss there and uh, five knobs. Um, likewise, I suppose you could possibly use um, this uh, Warbiker uh, as a Warboss. Nothing stopping you from doing that, but he's more of a knob than a, a Warboss. Forgeworld do actually sell an Orc Warboss on the bike, um, but he is £47, so you're going to have to pay an extra £17. But he is pretty awesome. Um, but uh, bit of an older model now, getting on a bit. Anyway, what we'll do is we'll have a look at the detail of the model, we'll look at the spare parts, of which there are only, only two, uh, and then we'll uh, go through some size comparisons, uh, a plethora of size comparisons with other buggies, battle wagons, stompers, and, and the rest of the, the crew. So, the detail then. Well, I actually love this model. Uh, I think it's so cool. Uh, you've got this war boss up here, and then you've got the uh, the rider on this war trike. You've got this jet engine thing with some little stabilizers. Uh, you've got some spikes on the uh, wheels. You've got some spikes there. Um, it's very, all of these buggy type things, are, um, I'm sure they're inspired by Mad Max. I mean, they, they just look so cool and they work. And um, I, I would love to see more from other races, maybe some kind of militia or gangs or something like that. Why haven't we got any vehicles for Necromunda? We could incorporate um, some vehicles for, for the Necromunda gangs when they're out in the wastelands and things. Why not? I mean we've got the the awesome dirt bikes from the Gene Stealer cults and we've got these buggies and things for the orcs. Let's just mesh mesh all of it together. Anyway, sorry I get carried away. You've got this grabber claw thing which is awesome. It's uh, like a, a power claw but um, it's got this grappling hook thing on it. It's amazing. Uh, you've got some lights, you've got the big shooters there. You've got a little uh, Grot, Gretchen Snot, whatever you want to call him, uh, at the back, um, filling the, the tank up with some go juice. Uh, and then you've got some optional canisters there, ones with an arrow, ones with a lightning um, bolt. You don't have to put them on. You've got some exhaust coming out there. Uh, that one bit wobbly but no that's all right and um, it works <laughs> and uh, yeah it's just just an incredible model I really like this war trike uh, it works well on the base as well and um, it's probably the best of these buggy things um, that works on the on the base the others not so much uh, but we'll we'll ask, but I'll show you some size comparisons a little bit later on just move down a little bit and um, so these are the spare parts these are the only two spare parts you get you get a different head um, one with like a pickle helmet and uh, some goggles and also you get this um, canister uh, with again like uh, like some flame on so maybe it is um, fuel. Uh, nothing stopping you from gluing this anywhere. You can glue it there, you can glue it on there. I mean I just didn't like uh, the thought of having a canister just rattling about without it being attached. I know, safety first, right? Um, but uh, that's why I've lodged these two canisters in there. But you could swap one of these out with, with this one if you wished. Um, and this is great to put on your orc scenery as well somewhere or on another model, on a base of another model, um, you know, or, you know, like that even. Um, so you can use that, but yeah, you don't get that many spare parts, just two. So size comparisons then. Well, I thought I'd kick off the size comparisons with another buggy thing, which is the which is the custom booster blaster. Um, very again, very sort of Mad Max hot rod type esque. It's very spiky. All the wheels are very spiky on this. The tires, um, and you can move the the turret, the rivet gun thing um, uh, around. Uh, I like how the little grot is pulling the the lever for the nos. Maybe um, <laughs> you know, sort of double engine um, system there with the 
with the turbos, um, just uh, amazing. Um, and then you've got a Gretchen at the back as well. Um, just, it's just fantastic, aren't they? Anyway, the, the, the main reason I was going to give you was, was for the size comparison. Um, so as you can see, the War Trike holds its own with the buggies. It's as big, if not a little bit bigger um, than these. Uh, comparing it to, to a war bike, uh, it goes really, really well with war bikes. Um, the only downside of the war bikes is they all look the same. Um, you can't really, is that is they'll look very similar, like the actual war bikes themselves. The orcs, you can mix and match the different weapon arms and things, um, and you can choose not to put the, the Gretchen hanging off, uh, you know, but if you were to get maybe three or four sets of war bikes, then yeah, they're gonna look a bit, a bit samey. Um, but still, uh, the key thing here is if you had like six war bikes around this um, war trike, uh, it's gonna go very, very well if you wanted a fast or army. Okay, um, moving more towards the like conventional vehicles then. So here is a truck, truck's pretty big. A truck is bigger than the, the war trike. Um, and uh, you know, it's got the, the boarding ramps on as well. I'd like to see the long poles off Mad Max and maybe people have done um, conversions. I'm sure they have if you look on Instagram or where, wherever, um, you know, poles to, you know, board um, different vehicles. That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? But it, go, it goes really well with, with the, uh, the truck. And then, uh, like one of the biggest vehicles that uh, Orcs have got going for them, the gun wagon. And um, I've turned mine into a gun wagon instead of a, a um, battle wagon. You can tell because it's got one of these big turrets on the top, and it is closed top. The the battle wagons aren't. The battle wagons are open topped, so they look like that. Um, uh, so yeah, um, arm to the teeth. Uh, all of these vehicles together look so, so cool, um, like a Mad Max type of convoy. Big fan of those uh, films. And just looking at these now, it makes me want to just go and watch that film. Anyway, that's all the vehicle kind of size comparisons and things. Uh, let's do a few uh, sort of single model comparisons. So I mentioned war bosses a few times. This is my war boss from many, many years ago, over 20 years old. Um, he's similar sort of size maybe a little bit smaller he's a thick boy though it's very very thick um this is a orc boy obviously from a long time ago um so that's where they sort of measure up and then the, the gretchen as well the next size comparison i'd like to make is just with an orc stomper absolutely beautiful model um, i really really uh, enjoy this model every time i look at it um, and that's where he stands next to a stomper. Um, worth getting two of these bad boys, they're, they're fantastic. Um, so that's where he measures up uh, next to a stomper. But a stomper is sort of double the price and then a little bit more. Um, but at least that uh, gives you an idea mainly of how big the stomper is, uh, as well as the uh, death killer. Comparing it to uh, sort of Imperial models, uh, the usual suspects, um, I've got the Legacy Space Marine on the left, the Primaris on the right, and then Slime Marbo in the middle, and that's where he sort of measures up. So if you're going against Primaris, predominantly, I guess, nowadays, um, you know, he's gonna hold his own as a, as a big, big HQ model. Uh, definitely uh, one of the biggest around because he's on this, I wanna say mount, because he's on this, uh, you know, war trike. Um, so there you go. Okay, so this is my part of the review where I will go through all of the rules for the Death Killer War Trike. I'll be using the rules from the 2018 8th uh, edition codex. I'm hoping the 9th edition codex isn't too far away and uh, we get some new improved uh, rules and uh, upgrades for models and size changes, things like that. We'll see. I'm looking forward to it though. So it's, it's a great time to be in the, in the hobby. So if you didn't already realize, uh, the Death Killer War Trike is an HQ choice in the Orc Codex. It's the second most expensive uh, unit in terms of points cost along with the Big Mech in uh, Power Armor uh, straight after Gaskell Fracker. It's a power points cost of a six and a points cost of 120. So the stat line reads, is a movement of 14 inches, uh, weapon skill two plus, ballistic skill five plus, strength five, toughness six, eight wounds, five attacks, leadership seven, and a save of four plus. A Death Killer War Trike is a single model equipped with a killer jet. The crew is armed with a Snagger Claw and three twin boomsticks. So the killer jet, 
It's a ranged weapon. You can choose two profiles, the burner or the cutter. So with the burner, it's a range eight inch, assault D6, strength five, AP minus one, and damage of one, and the weapon automatically hits its target, a bit like a flamer then. But the cutter is a range eight inch, assault two, strength eight, AP minus four, damage D6. And if the target is within half range of this weapon, roll two dice when inflicting the damage with it and discard the lowest result. Pretty much like a melter, a two shot melter. Now the Snagger Claw has two profiles, shooting or melee. We'll go for the shooting first. It's a range eight inch, assault one, strength four, AP zero, damage one, and you can reroll wound rolls for attacks made with this weapon. The melee version of it, strength plus two, so that's strength seven, AP minus two, damage three, and you can reroll wound rolls for attacks made with this weapon. And then the twin boomstick, of which it's got three, remember, the 12 inch, assault two, strength five, AP zero, damage one, and if the target is within half range, add one to hit rolls for this weapon. So you're getting six range shots just for the twin boomsticks. Of course, the ballistic skill's only five plus, so it's gonna be um, hard to hit anything with that. Um, but then you've also got the snagger claw and the uh, killer jet um, that, uh, you know, you can either use the flamer aspect of it, or you can use that one shot strength four, uh, shooting it's better to use it in melee the snagger claw in my opinion and again uh, the cutter is probably a, a better way to go and um, having the guaranteed two shots rather than possible up to six of the strength five but it's nice to have a potential larger amount of um hits uh, if you're going against a, another horde army abilities here we go mob rule daka 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 speed wire Friendly clan bike and vehicle units within six inches of this model at the start of the charge phase can charge even if they advance this turn. I would have preferred the bubble to be longer, like 12 inches. Um, I mean, six inches is still pretty difficult to, to maintain unit coherency. It kind of forces you to have all of your fast attack units and things and battle wagons within six inches of him, which given the size of them, might not be able, you might not be able to do that. Fuel mixer, grot. Once per battle when this model advances, add six inches to its move characteristic for that movement face instead of rolling a dice that's fantastic explode if this vehicle is reduced to zero wounds roll a d6 on a six it explodes and each unit within three inches suffers one mortal wound keywords orc character vehicle speed freaks speed boss death killer war trike so there you go that is the death killer war trike uh, it's a fantastic model uh, great rules i love the killer jet that he's got and the um, Snagger Claw is pretty decent too. The fact that you can re-roll the wound rolls for attacks uh, with it, and uh, basically all of the weapons that this thing is equipped with um, contains additional abilities, uh, which is uh, fantastic. However, I hear some mumblings from the back there. Super, how does this uh, war boss on a war trike uh, compare to a normal war boss, which is, you know, two power points cost uh, cheaper? Well, the normal war boss does have a bigger strength, it does have a strength six. That is somewhat negated by that snagger claw because then it bumps it up to strength seven. I would have preferred his strength to be six on par with the actual war boss. That would be great because then the snagger claw would be bumped up to eight. I'm not sure whether that is a misprint, but um, there we go. Maybe that'll be rectified. The toughness is bigger though, so so the death killer is going to be more difficult to um, take down. The death killer does have more wounds, has eight wounds, so it's going to be a bit more survivable, uh, even more so with the movement of 14 inches. However, the leadership isn't as good. Uh, it's only seven instead of eight. Um, so it's really puzzling that his strength is less and his leadership is less, but he does have a better toughness and more wounds. Um, toughness obviously reflected by the war trike. I guess it would have been a bonus to see some kind of invulnerable save reflected on the war trike rather than just the toughness uh, six, but hey ho, there we go. Um, this uh, war trike will be able to um, speed up the battlefield, buffing the uh, the biker and vehicle units within six inches and get them all to the opponent as quickly as possible. So the unit is definitely focused in uh, one sort of strategy here. What do you guys think of the Death Killer War Trike? I know it's not an Orc War Boss on bike. I think Games Workshop will still make one of those models at some point. Um, but for now, uh, this is a great substitute and um, a really fun, neat addition to the rest of the clan. Put your comments and thoughts down below as always. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching for Gork and Mork.